Modern technology is being used a lot in cattle farms. Billions of dollars hit farms every year and cut farm workers. In this video, you will discover some types of modern technological machinery. Now let's get to watch this video. The sheep disinfection bath cart is a type of mobile equipment that plays an important role in health maintenance and disease management in the sheep industry. The structure of the disinfection bath cart for sheep is divided into two important parts, the cart part and the disinfection bath part. The vehicle part, usually made from steel or aluminum, creates a solid foundation for the entire device. The disinfection bath, usually made from plastic or stainless steel, is where the disinfection process takes place. There are varieties of different disinfectants used in this vehicle, including chlorine, iodine, quaternary ammonium compounds, all of which can effectively control bacteria and viruses, ensuring the health of sheep. Disinfection bath carts from sheep not only helps controlling diseases, but also improves the health of sheep flocks and increases productivity in the livestock industry. Improving the sheep's health means reducing infectious diseases while also helping to increase production efficiency. Initial costs and investments maintains requirements for both to be significant, especially for small-scale sheep farms. This requires technical and financial attention to use disinfectant shower carts effectively. In the United States, the management and use of disinfectant bath carts for sheep must comply with regulations set forth by the Food and Drug Administration, referred to as the FDA. Monitoring the health status of sheep is an important part and an indispensable process in the animal husbandry industry, and weighing plays a paramount role in ensuring the efficient development and production of sheep flocks. Monitoring sheep weight can help farmers detect early health problems such as malnutrition, overweight, or illnesses that sheep may be facing. This helps farmers intervene promptly to ensure good health for sheep and prevent decline in production performance. This inspection system helps farmers save time and effort, providing accurate and quick information. There is no need to weigh each sheep individually. Just let the sheep go through the system to know their weight. This helps optimizing labor productivity and more effectively managing livestock farms. In addition, farmers need to choose the type of system appropriate to the scale and needs of the farm along with regular maintenance to ensure effective operation and no errors in the process of monitoring the animal weight. This cow milking machine represents a significant advance in modern agriculture and that its value cannot be underestimated. With the ability to provide large amounts of milk to calves and 
the ability to move and transport large volumes of milk on the farm. This milk through the system brings significant efficiency and time saving to cow farmers. In particular, the milk through system ensures that the calves are provided with an equal amount of milk, helping them grow healthily. The important thing is that the usage process is simple. Just mix the milk into the bottles and use machines to bring the milk bottle system into the farms. As a result, cows will eat an equal amount of milk, ensuring the calf's resistance and comprehensive development, helping to improve productivity and profits in the livestock industry. The support system for lifting dairy cows to trim their hooves plays an important role in effective management and care of dairy cows. Some of these significant benefits of both systems are increased productivity, reduced risk, and improved quality of manicures. Increasing labor productivity is an undeniable value. The dairy cow lifting support system ensures that the hoof trimming process is performed more quickly and effectively. This not only saves farmers time, but also creates favorable conditions for dairy cows. Risk mitigation is another important value. Using hoof trimming support systems and dairy cow lifting machinery helps minimizing the risk of accidents, protecting both cows and farmers. Unwanted effects may occur when trimming cow's hooves with this support of machines, this risk is significantly limited. In addition, increasing the quality of manicures is another important advantage of this system. This system and machinery ensures that the cows or dairy cows' hooves are trimmed properly, avoiding pain to the animals. This is beneficial for the health and comfort of dairy cows, while also reducing the farmer's feeling of stress. The initial investment cost is quite high and requires maintenance to ensure the efficient operation. Modern cow milking systems brings many great benefits to the dairy industry and a social community. First of all, it significantly enhances labor productivity, helping farmers milk more quickly and effectively. This automation process reduces time and labor, creating favorable conditions for workers in the industry helping them focusing on the other aspects of dairy cow management and care. Modern cow milking machines also ensures outstanding milk quality. The gentle and precise milking process avoids damaging to the cow's udder while minimizing milk contamination ensuring cow's milk meets high standards of quality and food safety. This is especially important in ensuring safe and reliable milk supply for all consumers. This system also helps reducing the risk of accidents for both cows and farmers. Integrating technology and automation, milking machines reduce the risk of injury to cows, reduce human impact and improve working conditions. Music 
This contributes to creating a safe environment and reduces negative impacts on people involved in dairy cow care. Finally, modern cow milking systems are also environmentally friendly, using energy more efficiently and reducing waste. Milking machines help reduce environmental impact while reducing resource consumption. This is important in a context where the environment is increasingly concerned and protected. The use of livestock support machinery is being put into use by many farms. These farms are performing very well and making great profits from this machinery system. And for now, let's get ready to watch the next video. In addition, the British Longhorn is a famous and popular Longhorn cattle breed in the north of Great Britain. From the Great Plains of the United States to the tribal lands of Africa, Longhorn cattle symbolize resilience, great adaptability, and timeless beauty. We are currently in the western part of Uganda, which is home to the largest concentration of longhorn cattle herders in Africa. Like most other livestock lands in the world, every morning, longhorn cows will be released from the barn and go into the pasture to feed freely. An estimated 7.3 million animals are farmed in Africa, and they are distributed mainly in East Africa, especially countries like Uganda, Rwanda, or Kenya. They are of cultural and economic importance. According to the grazing habits of farmers in East Africa, herds of dozens or even hundreds of individuals usually graze only up to three miles out from the out farm. Making it easier for farmers to control their livestock is another reason. The reason why herdsmen and their herds do not have to travel too far is because natural food sources in this area are abundant and readily available. A culturally beloved cattle breed in Africa, the Ankola is not the continent's most popular breed. Breeding cattle for decades, the Zebu has always been the most popular breed of cattle raised in Africa. It is estimated that the current population of Zebu in Africa may be more than 300 million individuals. Longhorn cattle are common only in East Africa 
and their name is derived from the Nkolo people, an ethnic group living mainly in the western regions of Uganda and parts of Rwanda. The average adult cow usually weighs about 1,100 pounds, and the average weight of a female is only about 800 pounds compared to Angus cattle. Raised in the United States, the weight of the Longhorn Angola is about 30% lighter. In Uganda's grazing pastures, farmers often store water for their livestock by building rainwater tanks or digging small canals to channel water. Late afternoon, when the sun has gradually died down, the Longhorn and Golan flock will be herded into the barn to rest because there are no predators around these farms. The construction of the barn is also quite simple, and it has no roof. Most herders here just need a place to gather their herds near where they live. About every three days, the farmer will burn straw or other materials to create smoke in the barn to control insects and other parasites. Also, they say this helps reduce stress for animals in tight conditions. When longhorn cows are eligible for meat, they are taken to cattle markets and then sold to slaughterhouses. An estimated 2.7 million Coley Longhorns and cattle are slaughtered each year for their meat. Their meat, more than 60% of these cattle, are raised in the western regions of Uganda. We say goodbye to the plains of Africa now, and we are going to several states in the United States to see how farmers here raise tens of thousands of Texas Longhorn cows. According to USDA statistics, by the end of 2022, there will be about 273,000 Texas Longhorn cattle raised in the United States. And of course, many of these cattle are raised on farms outside of Texas, like many other breeds of cattle in the United States the Texas Longhorn. The most striking feature of this breed of long-distance cattle, however, is their meat and crossbreeding that give America the historical and cultural significance of many American ranchers. Given that they often raise Texas Longhorn cattle to preserve and honor the heritage of the American West, these Longhorn cattle are also symbols of the frontier era. Only about 45,000 Texas Longhorn cattle are slaughtered in the United States every year, and the meat is only done on the adults. Cattle all carbs of this breed are kept until they are at least 18 months old. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, Please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.